us and uh, feel very grateful that it worked out our way. I thought our defense was uh, really tough tonight. Uh, they, we held them to 42%, and I'm so happy for these two sitting on each side of me to come home to Alabama and get a win on the road in their home state. And, and what for Chicken is his first win over Alabama in his career. So this is uh, especially sweet for these two seniors, and I'm really proud of them because they both did a great job. I thought Chicken's defense tonight, uh, you know, uh, on their best player, who's terrific, was really good all night long. He earned every single point he, he, he got. And I was so excited that he was able to play that first half really being smart, not getting in foul trouble, because we needed him on 32 as much as possible. Uh, obviously, when uh, Hale came in, he really got it going, and he isoed against Johnny, and that was a, a tough matchup for us because he's such a good shooter and quick. Uh, but I, I thought that uh, you know our team, our bench, Fred Thomas and Eric and, and Johnny all gave us great minutes, especially with Gavin being only seven minutes in the first half, and then getting a stupid technical uh, that really hurt us. Um, we were fortunate that he came back and finished strong for us and made some big shots down the stretch. Questions? Questions for players as far as they can go? Chicken, what do you think Coach did in Alabama? Uh, it feels great, man. Um, Coach preach every day that we stay together. We, we have a lot of victories like this. We we lost a few earlier in the year, um, close games, and we, we found a way to get it out today. I mean, every win we get, when we use that motivation, we're going to just move on to the next game. I just knew the game was over after that. It's never over. So <laughs> to me, it feels like it was over. <laughs> Travis, what did you do to the game? I mean, it felt great. Um, my f hometown is like 21 miles from here, and I had a lot of family um, to come watch me play for the first time in person, but it felt good to get a win, especially against Alabama my own time. I just been telling him to come in and just be aggressive. Um, Coach Drew over played for me to go screen for him, and it was open the whole. Well, it could have been open the whole game, but he got in foul trouble, so we couldn't run it. So um, he came in and gave some big minutes. Travis, what's kind of been different? I think the last three out of the four games, you guys have been playing really well. What, what kind of clicked? I guess after that, our, our opponent Arkansas. Uh, we just use our defense. It motivated us and our confidence for one, and we just you know stayed you know afloat you know, through the whole three-game stretch from then on. <clears throat> Any more questions for players? Okay. You guys hustle up so you can go say hi to your family, and then we'll go get going. Questions for Coach? Kind of same thing as Chicken. Coach, just how much do you guys look at plays for down the it is not at all the spoiler role, but what we use is the fact that all these teams that we're playing the last two are fighting to get in the tournament so we know we're going to get their very best effort. So the motivation is to understand at what a high level we're going to have to play at to be able to compete against these teams. And these last two wins are obviously back-to-back -back best wins of the year against very good teams, which I think still will both end up in the NCAA tournament. And... Uh, so that's, that's how we use that, is just that they're going to bring their very best A game uh, and that we have to be prepared for that. And I've been proud of the way our guys in the last two games have responded. And today was especially good because we weren't down 17 ever. We, we were kind of in control for the majority of the game, and that's really a nice uh, way to play, especially when you're on the road. And we withstood some of their runs. Uh, there was a big dunk by Hall. We called a timeout. We got a dunk out of the timeout, which was a big play to get us a shot in the arm. IJ, you talked about his shot. Uh, you know, he had a very good game because he, he uh, had zero turnovers, three assists in his 29 minutes. And uh, it would have been nice if we would have been able to play him a few more minutes the first half, but he got a, a, a very uh, ill-advised second foul gambling in the backcourt, which is, you know, something we talked about. I thought Q was terrific tonight, uh, as usual. I mean, we're kind of taking it for granted. You know, Q Weatherspoon, 15 points again, played really good defense. His guy today, 
didn't get a shot off Norris, which is a huge, you know, plus for us. I think Norris is really good. He had 16 or 18 in the first go around. I thought we did a terrific job on him in particular today. Um, you know, Edwards had a wide open three that we made a mistake and went almost doubled 32. We were lucky the ball didn't go against us on that play. So we had some bounces, which you have to have to win a, a road game in, in this league or any great league like the SEC. Well, I think he felt like, you know, uh, he obviously knew that that was wrong, the way he acted, the way he reacted. And I think he sat there and, and thought he better – you know, it's, it's amazing. You know, when he comes back from a concussion, the next game against these guys, he had 28. You know, when he was uh, disciplined and not starting in uh, the last game, he comes back and has a great game, 18 and 13. So, uh, you know, maybe adversity uh, – you know, is good for him. I just wish it wasn't, you know, foul trouble in the middle of our game. I'd rather have, you know, the other things. In a game like this where you're out more than you First of all, it's good to see you on a road game, Michael. I <laughs> want to commend uh, you for making it over here today. Sure. Yeah. It just shows his versatility. I mean, think about this. We've played Q from one through four this year. I mean, not a lot of guys, and, and, and not just offensively, but more importantly to me almost is defensively. Like there was one time he had number 11, and he was just playing him tough in the post. 11 went up and missed a shot. Travis needlessly came over to help, which he shouldn't have, to try to block a shot. I think they scored on that play because I remember getting on Travis, like, you know, he's fine. You know, he's tough. He's so tough. That's what makes him so good is his toughness. And, you know, he made a big three in the corner in the second half that gave us some momentum. Uh, and, he, and, again, it's all because of his hard work. He does a lot of extra work on his own. And that's what you love about a player is a guy who puts in the extra work that's not being asked to do it but is doing it because he wants to be special. He wants to be good. So I'm, I'm obviously excited about Q. I think he's really playing well for us. And I think he's opening up a lot of eyes in this conference. Didn't know for sure until right before the game. You know, he, he at Wednesday we had off. Uh, Wednesday night he went to go to a, a, a going away party for Courtney Cronin from the uh, Michaels paper, which uh, obviously was not a good thing for us because his back locked up. He it hurt him in the morning a little bit, but he was fine. He saw the trainer. But then that night he gets back and, like, he can't even get out of bed. And apparently he's had an issue like this in the past in high school. So uh, – I wish Courtney had not left because he probably would have been able to play today. And, and we're going to do an MRI on Monday and uh, find out if there's anything structurally wrong just to make sure uh, that there's nothing more than, you know, just the spasms caused by uh, a fall that he, he sustained in the Vandy game. We, we were fortunate they missed some open threes, to be honest with you. And thankfully, Norris didn't get any threes up because he's a guy that, uh, you know, worries me. And I knew Hale was – we talked about it. We, you know, Hale was going to break out. I mean, you know, he's 40% from three in the non-conference. He didn't play in our first game against them. Uh, you know, we kind of helped their streak by, uh, you know, getting beat at home in a game that we had a great chance to win down the stretch uh, and didn't capitalize. And uh, they're a really good team. I mean, you look at their RPI. I mean, he has done a tremendous job with his team, and uh, their team, I still believe, will get to the NCAA tournament. We could, how they play. I mean, getting road wins at Florida, get, uh, getting another really road win, great road win at LSU. I mean, beating Texas A&M at home. Those are quality wins. I mean, they're deserving. They, they played a great non-conference schedule. I mean, they have, I think, four wins over top 25 opponents. That's what I think. And I think that uh, at the end of the day, they know that they're – I mean, I wouldn't want to be playing them now coming off a loss. I hate playing a good team coming off a loss. I don't even know who they play next. But I wouldn't want to be them because I know they'll come back and, uh, you know, play great. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, I, I believe they'll play great at Lexington. I believe that. They'll play great in Lexington. You watch.
Did that, did, did, how do you say his name? Obasa, how do you say it? Obasahan is special. I mean, he is special. I love his story. I was looking at his freshman to uh, senior year, how he's grown as a player. I mean, he is so good. I mean, I, I just did my all-district voting at NABC from our conference. He's first team. So he's on my ballot, already sent in as a first teamer. That's how good I think he is. He's one of the five best players in the SEC. So they have a great player who's a point guard that they build around. And that's that's always an advantage. So they, they're going to be tough out for anybody. One more question. With Q, it seemed like he was coming off of screens a lot more uh, for three-pointers he could. Does that make any more you today with Malik out? Or uh, yeah, but uh, you know what? He uh, had it going. He hit a three early on at top of the key, I think, in the first half. Uh, maybe, maybe it was – I forget where his first three was in the first half. It was a beautiful shot. He's working on a shot. I mean, we need to get him more trees. But I thought the last one he took in front of our bench late in the game was ill-advised because we were up five, and the guy was running at him. All he had to do was shot break, one dribble to a pull-up. But that's what he's working on, you know. A lot of kids today don't have that middle game. They have threes into the basket, and we're working on a middle game. You know, he, today he had another time where he had the ball in transition on the break, and I, I want them to jump stop, go off a two feet shot fake, and get fouled for sure instead of missing the layup. I mean, but he's getting better. He listens. He's trying to do everything we're asking him to do. And as a coach, you love that in a player. And, uh, you know, he's, he's going to be uh, obviously a special player when you look at wh where he is right now as a freshman at both ends of the floor, rebounding, defense, and his offense.